Hi, my name's Dominic Fairman. I live here with my family up in South Bend White Farm on Bodmin Moor. Uh, we converted to organic production in 1999. As organic producers, we're always looking for novel and innovative ways of marketing our produce. Uh, and one of the, the products of a sheep farm that's um, has attracted very little attention up to now has been wool. Uh, wool has been in decline for, for, well, for centuries almost. Uh, we're very fortunate in Cornwall here in, in that we've had um, a lady called Sue Blacker set up a, a wool processing plant in one of the, the local towns. Uh, and we can actually get our wool now and take it to her, have it processed, cleaned, washed, spun, uh, and are able to sell it direct to the public or through local knitting shops. What I'm going to do today is to shear a sheep, uh, one, of the, one of the organic sheep, uh, which is the very start of the process. I got involved in this business because I myself keep sheep and I have done for over 10 years now. Um, I'm also extremely interested in natural fibres and particularly wool is a really high performance fibre. They're using it in high performance garments for sport and mountaineering in the Antarctic. And it's also one of the most sustainable fibres because it keeps on growing every year on the sheep's backs. I think the opportunities for this natural fibre are enormous. We can blend it not just with different colours of walls, we can also look at blending with silks, cottons, linens if necessary. What's really important is that this is all local. So what you see here could have been on a sheep grazing locally last week. More and more people want things that are grown and processed and sourced locally and we're able to do that. Our wool comes from local Soil Association accredited farms and is spun at the Natural Fibre Company in Launceston, um, which is also Soil Association accredited. Um, and at the end of the day comes out in skeins like this, which we then sell and knit up into various products. Of course, Cornwall has quite an ancient uh, history of knitting. Um, and up until the mid 17th century, there was a lot of spinning um, and a lot of knitting down here. And then with the introduction of the spinning jenny, it all moved up to Yorkshire. Um, although the knitting continued with the Cornish Guernseys, the famous well, um, fishermen's sweaters. Um, but what, of course, we are now doing is reintroducing the Cornish wool industry, if you like. And, and fortunately for us, the Natural Fibre Company has moved down here. So the wool can now be spun again in Cornwall for the first time in 300 years. Here's a children's uh, organic Guernsey. Now this is based on a traditional Cornish pattern. And originally the men, specifically the fishermen, would knit their own jumpers and every port had its own pattern. The top half here was the bit that was traditionally patterned. So if they got washed overboard and drowned, when they finally came ashore they could identify the body by the pattern because the wool would last longer in the water than the body. How's the seam? Well, hey. How does that look? <laughs> it's good. 